We have the disabled group, and it's a it's quite wide group, so it can be both like mentally uh, disabled and physically. Uh, but I was mostly thinking about those uh, sitting maybe in wheelchair when I uh, wrote this. Uh, for example, how do we find those people? First of all, uh, I was thinking that maybe if we turn to local councils and if there are normal social workers there, there who wants to cooperate, then they can help to find those people. And um, yeah, we can send special invitation uh, for a course or uh, for a workshop. And um, maybe permaculture principles can be used in design work uh, well, for their guard, like therapy gardens and therapy work. And also in the uh, design of the homes of, for example, people uh, who are sitting in their wheelchair, uh, they have often special designed homes. Um, so it can be used and introduced there. So that's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I wanted to present a, a project of a, a permaculture student in France, in Paris, called uh, Sandrine. This project is uh, La Permaciette, so it's the, the perma, um, uh, plate, perma plate. So the, the project is uh, in Paris to gather people, with, uh, well, disabled people, handicapped people, all people that are interested, ar uh, around a big, uh, big table, like a feast, you know, like a traditional feast, with a long, long table and people drinking and eating and this and that. Because this is w w something that brings people together, that really creates unity around the table and eating, drinking, and this and that. So it would be a connection with the local uh, uh, organic farmers that come and present what they produce, how they produce it, how it's tasty, how they can use it also for like uh, dietetic healing, what can be good to eat for healing, this and this. And so it would bring all these people together and musicians. So like the Basic, simple things like eating, drinking, playing music and dancing, this brings all people together. So it's easier to integrate like disabled people, you know, for singing, for dancing, for... And also like doing practical things, like even people with problems of concentration, like doing practical hands-on workshops. Bah, this is like the easiest thing to do where everyone can be integrated and then adapt things to wheelchairs or whatever. So that's one of the things, simple things to gather people, integration. Another project from uh, another French uh, permaculture student, it's uh, Laurent, that was in uh, South America, I think uh, close to Mexico or something like this. Where was he? I don't remember where it was, Brazil, I think it was in Brazil. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> so his project was, uh, so he wrote this, this great project, this great application, this uh, about a permaculture training center just outside of the city where there's uh, homeless people that can come there and go there for free. And so he, they've made a quite a big design where people can come and have free training and do a practical hands-on workshop. And what they are doing is producing abundance because there's many people working on a very good design. So there's food for free, there's training for free, and it's integrating everyone. And what he wants to do, because he's very passionate about sign language, is teach permaculture in sign language and translate material. We could, for example, translate the, the micro-teaching sessions we have in sign language. So this, this we could do. Yeah. <coughs> Something um, added to actually that uh, this could uh, uh, give some funding as well. Like uh, if we include uh, disabled people in uh, uh, courses, maybe there's some funding uh, from a local council or from or somewhere else. Yeah, and in France, if you employ uh, someone that's uh, disabled, you get lots of money. So you <laughs> from from the state. <laughs> and of course, it's a responsibility for them because they have to. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh -huh.